This is Rich. Rich eats fried chicken while working on his computer and frequently gets grease all over his keyboard. Rich is also trying to grow a beard, but has been pretty unsuccessful so far. More importantly, Rich also drives a Corvette, the most common two-door sports car next to the Mazda Miata. A lot of people on the internet make fun of Corvette owners by making memes and even videos saying that they're always older white males between the ages of 50 and 70 that drive slow in the fast lane. Rich is clearly not a white male between those ages, but Rich understands the meaning of stereotypes. One day, Rich saw a video of a man making fun of Corvette owners. Rich laughed at said video because his ego is not fragile. It turns out that same man not only owns several Corvettes, but also owns a shop that fixes them. And by looking at this Corvette owner's videos, it looks like he's been teaching millions of people about Corvettes. It turns out this owner was being sarcastic. Because Rich understands sarcasm and he's happy with his vehicle choice, Rich doesn't let the opinion of others bother him and he was able to continue his day as normal and continue eating fried chicken and hoping his beard would someday grow. Be like Rich. As you all may or may not know, one of my videos was taken down twice. It was a video about how I was selling my Tesla and going back to a gas car. And the premise of that video was, well, that I'm selling my Tesla for a gas car. And I unfairly blamed the Tesla community as them being responsible for taking the video down. But I really had no proof it was them, so I wanted to apologize. But it's almost like, let's pretend you go to the beach and you realize you left your canopy behind. Then, when you go back to get it, there are two ladies that are sitting next to it with it halfway disassembled. And you go, hey, well, I think this is my canopy that you took apart. And they're like, well, how dare you? You have no proof we took it apart, do you? And they assault you verbally. And that's basically the position that I'm in now. Now, I write out what I'm going to say for the most of my videos. And I have text of everything I've said in every video. And I've used the same combination of words in many videos. So again, I don't think it was YouTube taking it down randomly. Okay, okay never mind, never mind. I'm over it. I have no proof it was them. Second thing, I don't get why I'm getting so much hate from my Tesla videos. Remember, I drove the Tesla Model 3 Performance and I loved it, but of course you don't remember that, do you? You just remember the critical stuff. But again, people hear what they want to hear. Maybe you were thinking it was Jamie Foxx who looks just like me that drove it. I'm a man of color. I don't know what that grinding noise is. You hear that sound? You hear that? There's a lot of noise in this car. It's probably the drive unit failing. There's a lot of window noise in this car because they forgot to put sound deadening in this one. Can you believe Tesla is suing Rivian? Come on now. So I have a Tesla Model S that I got from a subscriber that they wrecked. He said his mom bought one because of watching my YouTube videos. And when she got into an accident, she couldn't think of a better person to send it to. So I'm going to rebuild this Tesla in one episode because let's be real here. Who wants to see me build another Tesla stretched out into the series? It's the same car. It's all the same car. I finished the Model X last year, and guess what? It's basically the same car as an S, minus the funky gullwing doors. But you know what it's like? I'd argue Tesla is the best electric vehicle for sale right now. Gas cars are like ranch dressing on chicken nuggets, which is reserved for very, very lowbrow people. Tesla is like barbecue sauce on chicken nuggets. Barbecue sauce is the best sauce right behind sweet and sour. But after having barbecue sauce over and over and over and over and over, you get sick of it, and all of a sudden you're like, damn, can I get some ranch? That ranch isn't looking so bad right now, is it? So this is me trying to switch it up. I can't keep beating the Tesla dead horse. Oh, Tesla this, oh, Tesla hat, ah, da 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 What's Rich complaining about Tesla now? I don't want to be that guy. Newsflash, I'm a car enthusiast, meaning I love all cars. If they are cool, it doesn't have to be an EV. And my biggest mistake was buying cars and projects that I think people would want to see. So everyone said, hey, Teslas are getting old. Buy a cheap EV build. So I did a Chevy Spark EV for dirt cheap, and no one cared about it. People were like, hey, can you do a video on electric cheap Wrangler? No one watched it. Rich, can you build a fast electric pocket bike and race it against a gas bike? Sure I can. And then no one cared. So if I'm going to do a video that no one wants to watch, I'd rather have it done doing something I really want to do. Now, I want to stick with EVs, but the current EVs on the market right now are kind of slim. Rebuilding a Porsche Taycan is too expensive. My other choices are a Chevy Bolt, an i3, Nissan Leaf, an e-Golf, an i-Pace, a Hyundai Iconic Electric, a Kona Electric, Kila Nero, and the Mini Cooper Electric. Unfortunately, about zero of these cars make me excited to drive them. Everyone wants Tesla stuff, but they're out of the price range of most. So while I'm building a car, if you want a chance to win one that will actually have the support and blessing of Tesla, I'm giving you the chance to win your own as well as support a good cause. It's the Chicago Chester Fund Tesla Raffle. It's a really incredible organization with over 40 programs which serves the Chicagoland area and it's having their sixth annual Tesla 
raffle, which I did last year as well. They're raffling off a Tesla Model S, X3 or Y, or $50,000 cash. The tickets are capped, and last year they sold out of tickets, so hurry up and get yours in now. Use promo code RICHREBUILDS in the link in the description box below. You get two tickets for $175 instead of $200. So for the first 100 people to take advantage of this. And if you win this car, I want you to drive it to me, and I will personally sign it and make it lose $10,000 of its value instantly. Now, this is me giving back, and I'm trying to help out a little bit. I know that not everyone has a lot of money, and I remember what it's like to first start out with EV stuff and conversions and not really having much. So I'm also going to be giving away all of my Tesla and EV conversion stuff. That's right, all of it, all my motors, controllers, wiring harnesses, and batteries. Here's a quick list. So again, literally everything is up for grabs here. I have the high voltage wiring for any of your EV conversion projects. I also have the uh, the connector uh, to have J1772 charging for your zero. And as a matter of fact, I have a complete zero set up here with, uh, with dual motors, actually. So I have the J1772 conversion kit. I have the controller for one of the motors. I have the secondary controller for the second motor. And I also have a battery pack to go with that as well, as well as all associated wiring. So this is one complete zero motorcycle setup with dual motors. That is also up for grabs for the free price. This right here, this is the old school Tesla charger. This is flooded, uh, non-working, but you could have that too. Everything associated with zero, you have, uh, you have swing arms, you have headlights. That's all up for grabs, just come and get it. Uh, you have a lot of stuff here. This is the uh, cover for the J1772 adapter. I have a rear shock in there. I have a bunch of zero stuff that when I was working on, when I was taking apart my initial zero, that's up for grabs as well. Uh, a complete zero motorcycles wiring harness. And that is what really makes up the cyber quad as well as the rat rods. You can have a, a well over a hundred horsepower set up very easily uh, with all the stuff I have here. These are some old school scooters that I had from Swagtron. There's definitely a lot of good batteries in these still. It comes with the charger, uh, as well as the LEDs and the grips uh, that I have in that bag. Those are free to grab. They're loaded with batteries, they work fine. That is the seat for the Zero. Let's see, I have a DC motor controller here. Oh, and this is really, really, really premium stuff. If you look online, you'll know how much money these go for in the thousands. That is up for grabs as well. Have some uh, handlebars from the Zeros. I have two Tesla chargers that don't currently work, uh, but you can come pick those up, whatever. Just throw them in your van and go. Uh, I have two of the, uh, the tail fins for the Zero motorcycles. I have another uh, Zilla controller here, and I have a Mantazia charger, but this is all up for grabs. I have a full contactor set up that I ripped out of a car that I had. There's the Tesla module here. I have many more of these. These are also up for grabs as well. Well, you know, more Zilla stuff. This is all literally yours. I also have a, uh, a throttle control pedal from a Tesla Model S in there. I have contactors. I have a full cooling setup. This is really all I have left. I mean, there's, there's a lot of really, really, really worthwhile stuff here, but I just want to give back. A lot of people were saying that, you know, you know, I talk too much crap about Tesla. I'm doing nothing for the EV community. This is all yours. You could, you could literally make your own EV, multiple EVs, all the parts that I have here. I have additional stuff like cooling pumps, AC compressor in there too for your EV conversion project. But this is all stuff that's worth a decent amount of money. And again, just giving it away, just come and grab it, honestly. All that and much more, I have a few Tesla drive units that you can actually have, again, for free. I have a Net Game Warp 11 that's, again, free. My daughter claimed my Tesla. My son claimed the electric motorcycle. The rat rod is gone. And no, my i8 is not available. And yeah, it seems like I'm bailing on EV stuff. That's not the case. I'll always have my EVs, but I'm going to be mixing up the gas content with the EV stuff. And I'm going to start sourcing different types of equipment. And if you all follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'd know that I recently purchased a 1969 Austin Mini. And when I announced it, about 90% of the comments were, hey, man, when are you going to convert to electric? Zero motorcycle swap incoming. And I felt like I was a one-trick pony. Everyone assumed I was going to electric swap it. Like, do the thing. Do the thing where you put a zero motor in it. But what if I don't want to do that? What if I want to keep it gas? Has anyone ever thought how I would feel about something? Maybe I just want to drive it and enjoy it. Not everything needs to have an electric motor. Does your wife have an electric motor? Huh? Does she? So at this point, the car's rebuilt, and I have a few options. I could take it to my main man, Dan's Auto Body, who helped me paint my previous car, but I actually want to pass the savings on to the new owner. 
I can have the car painted for several thousand dollars, but I don't think the car is worth that much. So in order for someone to get into a Tesla at a lower price point, after replacing the hood, front bumper, and fender with different colors, I decided to spend a few hundred dollars and wrap the car myself. Yes, this is my very first time wrapping a car, and I figured what better time to learn to wrap a car than one I'm not gonna keep. But before I get started, I need to take a break and read my favorite book by our Lord Savior, Elon Musk, for some inspiration. But this is a very long book, and I don't have a whole month to read it, so I use Blinkist. If you wanna read books but don't have enough time to sit down and read, need to take some time for self-improvement and learn new things, need to optimize time, try Blinkist. With over 14 million active users, it has the best insights from over 3,000 nonfiction books. It condensed them into 15 minutes. You could read or listen to them podcast style, take some time for self-improvement, and learn something new. The first 100 people in my link get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want full membership. Thank you, Blinkist, for sponsoring this episode. Now on to the good stuff. Let's get into wrapping this car. All the seams are about Tesla quality here. Actually, this is actually a little bit better than Tesla, believe it or not. This fender here is gray. The hood's black and the front bumper is black as well. I have the old school red ringed headlights that I had on Dolores a while back, but the rest of the car is actually a really nice deep blue color. Today, we're actually gonna wrap this car to make these fenders match. I didn't wanna paint it. Uh, I think wrapping it would be the more efficient and cheaper way to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna disclose that to the buyer that the car has been wrapped, but I think it's gonna give it uh, a really nice appeal. Next coming up, you're replacing these tires. These tires are pretty much smoked at this point, but I have another set at the electrified garage, so we're gonna take that up there and get those replaced. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to wrap this car. This is Dolores here looking sexy. Look how good she looks. What a good looking car that is. Either way, let's get this bad girl started. We have to wash it. I'm gonna wash it with soap and water first to get all the dust and contaminants out of the paint. And then we're gonna start going to town. Actually, before I do that, I wanna get rid of that gunk right there because that's the old Tesla emblem I'm gonna be taking off when I wrap it. See, what are you doing right now? Ooh, wee. Look how clean EP that was there. Oh, yeah. It makes me want to keep this thing, Stephen. Seriously. Do you? I, mean, do you, I know. Do you want it? I know I can't financially, but <laughs> in these trying times, in these trying times, would be tough to keep. But you know what I mean. It's, this, this is a good. Uh, That's what they say. This is a good thing. So right now we're debadging. We have to get this last one off, the T off, and I think we're almost ready to go. So we're getting all the hard stuff off, all the uh, the bird sheet, as they say, or the bird refuse, yeah. as they say. After we took the times new room. Font off here. Right at the time, <laughs> Yeah, why do they use that font? Use that is the yeah. worst font in the friggin' world, man. It was supposed to be like some classy and, you know, futuristic style. They, they I, I'm surprised they didn't go with like a future of bold for a font. God, man, it's like yeah. Comic Sans. <laughs> God, good lord, Tessa. What are you guys doing? Where we at, boy, Steven, let me see what we're doing. Right. So we got the mirrors wrapped. The mirror took like 45 minutes just to wrap those one part <laughs> on both sides. That's Steven's side. The mirrors aren't exactly easy to do by any means. Uh, I did my side. This wrap is actually pretty thin, so there's a minor scratch right there you probably really can't see. But I mean, honestly, this looks pretty damn good. But I'll tell you, after doing uh, two mirrors, I could kind of see why people charge so much for this. The, the main goal is to actually make the body panels match. But I think once it's all uniform, it's gonna look pretty damn good. Because right now you can't even really tell the difference between the the actual wrap and the, um, and the door and my really ashy hands for some reason. Whoop. It's funny, once you get into it, it's kind of, it's one of those weird satisfying things where it's like, huh, all right, I'm doing something.
Oh, looks like we forgot to lock the car, Steve. Ooh, ooh. ooh. You know, it's like, it's like ooh. when you get a boner under a tent. Yeah, that's exactly that's, what that is. You're pitching uh, a tent. damn it. All right, let's, let me go on the other side. Quick, that's gonna pierce. I'm, I'm gonna fix this. Sorry, <laughs> you hold the camera. Okay. Okay. Quick, it's gonna pierce. All right, ready? It goes nothing. Stretch marks. Apparently, they're beautiful. Yeah, I know, right? It's beautiful. <laughs> Just the way you are, baby. Just, Just the way you are. All right, let's, let's analyze this here. Yeah. So there's a little hole. All right. Maybe, maybe. Let's let's see what we can it do. Might be a stretch mark, but that's might okay. Be a stretch mark. Let me... As we said, you're beautiful just the way you are. Always. All right. Who sang that song? Just the way. Bruno, Bruno Mars. Or something? Bruno Mars. Yeah. What about, is he? Is he still relevant? I don't think so. I thought that was a known thing. I didn't know. I don't, know. I don't keep up with that people magazine. Yeah. Okay. Right? I wasn't sure. I was like, I'm oh, not okay. a credible source. Are you? <laughs> I have more important things to Someone, read. Someone, dude, to this to is, the about. comment section gonna go crazy. Yeah. Ooh, it's not. Ooh. Bruno Mars himself might comment. Songbird of our generation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this masked bandit we have going on here. We're at the. So this is what we have done so far. We have this entire side done. This amazing color. Front bumper isn't done yet. <laughs> Uh, I just a heads up. I do not like this color at all. That door is done. Uh, obviously, that front fender isn't done, but we're starting on the rear hatch. We're gonna do the rear hatch in two pieces. We have the top half above the top half of the tail lights and the bottom license plate area that goes down to the bumper. And uh, we're, we're getting there. And I got my new tires in. So these brand new tires will be mounted for the sale of this vehicle. You get brand new tires. So all the chunks that are out of this one, that's gonna be resolved with brand new tires. How many car salesmen give you brand new tires? Zero. So Steven and I made the executive decision to actually wrap this instead of, uh, cause before this was plastic dipped. So the person did this before, they didn't really, you know. Lackluster performance. They, yeah, it was, and if, you, if I told you the price that was paid for this, you'd probably spin in your grave. But yeah, we're gonna Soon wrap you're this. Dead. Seriously, we're gonna wrap this <laughs> too. We might even wrap the taillights. We're gonna actually leave this, the way it sits right now is the way it's gonna be forever. We're gonna wrap half this taillight and you won't be able to see it when you back up, but I think it's fine. Actually, we'll cut a hole off the back up. Yeah, pass inspection, right? But when you think about it, do you really need brake lights? Do you? We have a little problem on our hands here. We don't have much wrap left and they're on back order, of course. No one's ordering this color, that's a lie. No one is ordering this color. How many purple cars are you seeing? Literally no one. So here's the thing, we found a piece and we don't have much left again. This is all we have through the rest of the car. Uh, we managed to finagle the two side doors here, which is good. Uh, we got a piece of the rear quarter panel done. And then we have about like 10,000 scraps on the hood, on the uh, the rear hatch. Now we're gonna focus on getting that rear bumper done. But I'll tell you right now, finding this scrap piece right here in the garage, that was that was king, Steven. It's God's It's the happiest day of my life. The happiest? Yeah. Oh, all right. What are all the happy moments of my life? Kids being born, nah, definitely the wrap. Mm -hmm. All right, baby, last piece, you ready? There. All right, send it. Brown, frown, frown, frown. Yeah, I think that we did some bad math here. That doesn't add up. When did that piece ever get cut? Well, Richard, this never got cut, Richard. but this came up over here. Either, either and we way, probably it's... thought it was close, but this is this is no bueno. Actually, no. You know what we could do? Let's do a racing stripe on the hood, and we're all set. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, a, like it's a an one, offset one too. Once, yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot strike. of the kids in the Tesla clubs do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just to know where we where we stand as of right now, we have this piece. This is all we have. We have these two pieces, and we have to do half a rear bumper. We have to do the remainder of the hatch, and we have to do the front bumper. Can we do this, Steven? What do you think? Mmm, survey says no. Steven's been getting awfully cocky with throwing stuff away. Look at this. Look what Steven did. I, I, why, why am I getting thrown Look on this? Look what Steven did. Look at this ball. We could have used this ball for something. Shmegma. You could have <laughs> used that. It was we blown around in your dusty we, garage. We could have used this for something. <laughs> Sand now, underneath all now, the pieces. Now we have to yeah. leave this in the sun. Uh, uh, and really hope that this thing, look at this, we could use this. Look at this, Steven. Look what Steven wasted. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Recycle, reduce, reuse. So we'll leave this bad girl in the sun right here. And then that'll be our backup plan. Oh, okay. oh, oh, easy. Wait. Oh, I oh. forgot you can't help me because you're filming. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. All right, one uh, more wasted right. piece. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, this is good. No, let's let's measure it. If we, if we cut, cut the this. tape, you're you're daydreaming. You know, I don't, you know I don't measure. But that's why we have this problem with the rear bumper. That's why we have what? That's why we have the problem with the rear bumper. <laughs> it's pork because it wasn't that's, measured. That's, no, no. Come you on. Can't on me. You blame private on me. There's two of us. Who built the cyber quad? <laughs> This car is officially for sale. This price my first wrap personally, so it's not perfect. But uh, you'll get the uh, the red headlights from Dolores. Remember that back in the day? Dolores had the red painted headlight bezels. Had the nice blue T on both sides. These tires are brand new. There's also uh, the red calipers that I painted. There's no Tesla logo on them. That'll cost extra. There's uh, the wing, the carbon fiber wings included with it. The interior is clean. It's pending a software update. It's a P85. It's a pretty quick car. It, uh, it had its drive unit replaced about, I think, a two years ago or so. So you have plenty more miles left to go. Let's see. What does the inside look? Look at that. Look how clean that is. Like a grandmother's purse. Hey, bring a hey. black light. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, buddy. See that little thing? Try to get in that box. trying to eat your, Relax, dude. Trying to eat your BK. All right. Isn't life beautiful? So extraordinary. God, look at, that's nature so at work. Look at God at work. <laughs> Look at him work. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so the most important thing that comes with this car, and I'm going to show you this. Black eyes are fresh. Nice. These are yours. Look at that. Black eyes, baby. You know how I feel about black eyes. So this will come with the car. This will be included with the car. It'll be right here. Now with this car, you're going to get black eyes air fresheners, my favorite. You're also going to get three sets of keys. You're going to get some razor blades in the cup holder. Uh, you're going to get that extra can of touch up paint for the wheels, a pen, and most importantly, my Ridge wallet. You will receive my personal Ridge wallet that comes with this car. I'm going to leave it literally right here for you. Uh, and also, uh, if you do not get a chance to get this car, look in the description box below to get a nice chunk of change off these really nice Ridge wallets. I've had this wallet for many years now, and I'm gonna go to the carbon fiber one, and I want some lucky person to have this Ridge wallet. If you want it, that's cool. Uh, if you don't want it, you can give it to your best friend, but this comes with the vehicle, which overall is a pretty damn good deal. Now, Avi, I'm an honest guy, so I'm gonna point out some of the downsides to this car. Number one, it is a salvage title vehicle. The thing on the inside is this. You can notice there's a small bubble. There's a small bubble right above the screen. I mean, this will last you plenty of happily and healthy miles. Bring it to Electrified Garage. We can change it for you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Bring it to EG. We'll fix that for you. But you could ride with that for, for, for years to come. Uh, the second thing is, is uh, a little splits here on the inside uh, around the corner of where the handle is for the wrap. That's, that's not that great right there. And there's a couple other areas where like- so I didn't look do, at that. I know, I didn't do that great of a job. Did the sunroof works, the rear hatch works, the front. Oh, let's see what goodies are in the front. Hold on one second. Please hold. See that damn front. How? Oh, what was that? Oh, extra rolls of the wrap. <laughs> so in case, in case you want to wrap uh, your wife's car the same color, you could do that. So I'm have extra rolls of that too. But everything, the liner's in, all the plastics are here. We have the sound deadener up top. I mean, this isn't really a bad, it's not a bad car. Trust me. Would I lie to you? Look at my face. Would I lie to you? Of course I would. Of course, <laughs> for my own personal gain, of course I would. Now the car is done. Let's get an answer to the question that I'm sure you all have been asking. Does it supercharge? And the answer is no. But whoever buys it may not need supercharging access, but if you do, let me know. I'm sure we can figure something out. Maybe I'll call Tesla on the phone and call in a favor with my man, Elon Musk. If you're interested in the car, Follow me on Twitter at RebuildsRich, Instagram at RichieBKid, or on Facebook to find out more information on the car as to when it's going to be available. And if you're interested in any of the items and you live in the Northeast, you can pick them up for free. They're all yours. If you aren't in the Northeast, feel free to reach out to your friends in the Northeast. To be fair to everyone, you can only pick up one item or two items if they're in a pair. Email me at my address in the description box. And of course, Patreons get first dibs. Thank you all for watching and big thanks to Ridge Wallet again for sending me this wallet and supporting the channel. Check out the link in the box below to get yourself a nice Ridge Wallet. And I will see you all next week with the reveal of my new gas car.